Namaste, hello, and welcome. This is Matt Watches Bollywood. I'm Matt. I'm Rashmi. And today we're going to be watching the Netflix First Look trailer for a new OTT series, Hiramandi, The Diamond Bazaar. Do you know what Hiramandi means? I do not. I know what bazaar means. Okay, what does bazaar mean? It's like a market. Correct. So, Mandi is also market, and Hira means diamonds. So, the diamond market. Hira Mandi. Okay, so it's, it's a bit redundant, huh? <laughs> it's like chai. <laughs> chai tea. Of <laughs> course. <laughs> as, as Starbucks likes to call it. So, do you know anything about this teaser? I don't. I've seen a couple still images from it. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like there's going to be a lot of opulence. Um, it's about a diamond bazaar, so maybe it's about a family that's wealthy in the diamond industry or like a family that wants to break into the diamond industry or something like that. I, I don't think it's going to be like a diamond heist film, though. Okay, I think that's that's a pretty fair assumption. I think based on just like the first look image, I think it's all women. So that leads me to believe that maybe it's set in a historic time with like what they're wearing. So I don't know if this is going to talk about like the British Raj. Okay. Um, I do know that Sanjay Leela Bansali has directed this OTT. Um, he is a huge Bollywood director. He did Dave Das. He did, uh, I mean, every famous probably Bollywood movie of the 90s. Uh, yeah, that may not to become commercially successful. Had like Sanjay Leela Bansali's hand in it um, in the 2000s as well. I do, I'm not sure if this is his first series or not. I think it's one of his first like OTT series. So I'm really excited to see it. Okay. I guess I'm expecting a lot of grandeur, a lot of that whole like Bansali style of movies, but in a TV show. Okay, yeah, sounds exciting. Well, let's go. All right. It's so Nakshi Sinha. <laughs> oh yeah? This is my kind of show. <laughs> Not sure if it's mine, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> you know I love this kind of stuff, right? <laughs> I, I could cover this like in one weekend. I don't doubt it. <laughs> so, first thoughts? Um, yeah, it was cool seeing uh, sort of all the opulence. I think the cinematography lo looks next level for sure. All, all the dancing and sort of the, the contrast between the colors and stuff. That looked cool. The sound definitely definitely dragged me in. Some of the songs were, were definitely next level. It's uh, maybe not subtle. We, we, know, we definitely know who the villain is. <laughs> we saw, uh, what was her name? Sonashi Sinha. Sonashi Sinha. <laughs> it went bomb. So I'm, I'm guessing she might be the villain. Just, just a hunch. I'm so excited. So Shanakshi Sinha is huge in Bollywood. She's a, a leading actress in Bollywood. This is probably the first time we're going to see her in a negative role. Oh, okay, that's so exciting. I'm like super excited. She's just coming off another OTT series that she released uh, with, I believe it was Manoj Bacha, which was incredible. He plays the serial killer and she's the cop. And she was so good in it. So like seeing her in like this olden kind of prehistoric British Raj, the revolution's on the way. And play, her playing a villain, so stoked for that. <laughs> Did you see Richa Chadda in there? Uh, I'm not sure who she is. <laughs> so you actually watched her um, entire series, in fact, um, about IPL, where she plays um, the owner oh, of the... Inside Edge. Inside Edge, there we go. Oh, she was the, the owner. Yeah, yeah oh, she okay. was a female owner. I now, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and she, uh, you see her like battling with Vivek Oberoi kind of thing, but she was in there. Um, so it seems to be pretty star cast studded. I feel like I saw sneak peeks of Manisha Corella, but like some of the scenes were so fast. Yeah. I'll have to like check <laughs> if she's actually in it. I'm, I'm pretty sure she is though. Um, and Manisha Corella uh, comes from, uh, she's huge in the 90s. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess it's like her comeback into uh, okay. into this like decade of Bollywood, Bollywood stuff. <laughs> awesome. I'm so excited to see Sanjay Lal Bansali's like TV show. Like he's known for like grandeur, elegance, just the way the scenes are shot, it's gonna be epic. It's like 
the Indian version of the crown. <laughs> yeah, it definitely has that sort of vibe. I think we saw at the start, you see kind of uh, sort of this opulence. Uh, maybe it's going to be like a, a rich people versus the, the uprising sort of. Well, okay, maybe I shouldn't say okay, it is kind of like the crown, except like I'm pretty sure that all of these women are prostitutes. Okay. So I don't know if that, that was, uh, but like from like what like my feel is, is I'm, I'm pretty sure they are. Oh, okay. Maybe more of a Marie Antoinette type vibe then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Meet the crown? No. <laughs> But but like like Balo's version of that, uh, I think I think there's gonna be some killer songs in here. Yeah, for sure. And I'm excited. I'm hoping it'll be like eight episodes. And I really hope they don't do that. Where oh I don't know if I'm allowed to swear on here, but I really hope they don't do that. Here are four episodes. Have fun till the next year when we drop right? another four. <laughs> and then I forget like what happened, and I'm like oh no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they quite have the leverage with this one to do that. Usually it's once people they're like. We know you're going to come back. You know, you're not going to want, not watch the second half of, uh, you know, Ozark or whatever, right? So I, I doubt we'll have to worry about that that here. The other thing I'm really excited about is I'm seeing all these mainstream Bollywood actors do series now, which I don't know if that's really happened in Hollywood. Huh. But it yeah. seems to me like the next me, like Vivek Oberoi, we saw um, the series that we did not like um, with um, Siddha- Indian Police Force. Yeah, Indian Police Force. It's so bad. <laughs> Um, but we saw like a whole star cast over there. Um, I just feel like so many of like the mainstream Bollywood actors are getting into these shows, so I get to see a lot more of them. It, it is interesting. I feel like the quality of the, these OTT series have generally been higher, at least yeah. you know, narratively speaking, and the, the whole thing you know compared to most of the big Bollywood releases we've seen. So mm-hmm. maybe that's why we see actors kind of kind of coming that direction, sort of getting these. Uh, one of these prestige performances that you may not get from the, the mainstream films. So I don't know if you actually know this, my dad loves to talk about this, but um, there was a time in the early 2000s where Amitabh Bachchan, who you lovingly refer to as... The Indian Morgan Freeman. Yeah, uh, he was actually doing uh, pretty badly in like the early 2000s, and uh, he actually became the host of Khan Banega Kaurapati, which is um, India's version of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Oh, really? And he was the first Bollywood star to like be a star and then come on a TV show. <laughs> and he actually like set that trend off, basically. Like no big Bollywood star was doing. And Amitabh Bachchan is known for doing that. Um, he uh, obviously played this huge role uh, in a pivotal Bollywood movie against her main throw way early on in his career, where like. This was the first time where like two stars were in a movie together as co-actors, which had never been done in Bollywood oh, really? before. Yeah, and then like twenty years later, you see him again set the stage for Bollywood actors to come in back into TV. Because the rule used to be you do TV, get successful enough to do a movie. Right. Like that's the ultimate mark, and now we're kind of seeing like the circle fill up. Okay, interesting. Yeah, and you're we're seeing so many, and then I got just like cross actors. Like we're seeing so many people from like. Tamil cinema, Malayalam cinema, all coming into Bollywood. I don't know if these guys go into other cinemas. I'm guessing they do. I feel like we saw that with Merry Christmas, where it was shot in different languages. Yeah, that was interesting. Which was really cool. But I'm like a diehard lover of Bollywood. (laughs) (laughs) For sure. So I really like seeing all of my stars on like the OTT screen. If you guys have any other recommendations for us, drop it in the comments below and we'll do a review on it. Definitely.